the new unit aims to make a difference to the quality of life and ongoing care for stroke patients in Gibraltar. It's divided into two main areas, aimed at acute stroke services and for patients requiring longer-term rehabilitation. The service that we will be now able to provide has in fact been worth the wait. We spoke this morning about the acute stroke services where people who present with the possibility of having a stroke being able to be administered with a particular drug that should address the stroke of a person who is currently undergoing one and of course after presentation at A&D, the important work of rehabilitating that person so that that person has the maximum quality of life following the stroke and also as far as possible an independent life. And except in the most severe cases, the GHA will now be able to provide a full service to persons who uh, suffer and then live with the stroke. You will see in this room all the different equipment that is necessary for our patients to be able to rehabilitate themselves. We also showed you earlier for beds for acute admissions for persons who have undergone the stroke and who have also been administered the thrombolosis injection to be able to start the process of being cured. We asked the Minister for Health what type of impact this would now have on stroke patients. Well, I think it's going to make all the difference in the world. Remember that it will be the very first time that the GHA is able to provide the thrombolosis. In other words, the drug that is administered when somebody is undergoing the stroke. So that drug will be administered for the very first time in the GHA, which means that people undergoing a stroke will have that ready treatment available. And of course, by ordering and having all of this specialist equipment, we will provide as best as we can and with the most modern means available the rehabilitation required to be able to get our patients better to achieve the highest quality of life and the highest level of independence as quickly as possible. For one patient in particular, this was something he'd be campaigning for for some time now. It's incredible. It's fantastic. It's, um, it's a combination of a lot of hard work and a lot of... It's, work hasn't stopped. It's what people need. And they need that constant support from a, a very dedicated bunch of professionals uh, to be able to move on and to uh, to get back into mainstream life. I mean, I'm testament that the work that's gone on behind the scenes does help and the continued contact with them, I've uh, lived a relatively normal life. At the launch, Minister Costa paid tribute to all those involved in making this unit a reality and highlighted the Lions charitable group, which has also contributed to the unit.